have on the table in front of me here a fringe die plexer. Okay, I'm just going to li lift the, the, the cover on this here anyway. And basically the purpose of this die plexer is to join two inputs together. So if we have two sides here we can take inputs. Uh, on one side here we have a, a UHF input. So that would be traditionally used, we'll say, for um, things like the serial view signal. And if we look behind me here, uh, I'm just going to point up to here, we have a UHF area in here. So it's pretty typical. You would have used the old analog system for TV3 and that. And um, all the new serial view areas look something similar to this. Okay? And what we want to do is we want to take a, an input from a second input and combine it into a single table. Okay? So here is a UHF input. Here will be an input either coming from, traditionally it would have been from a VHF aerial, but equally you could take an input from uh, a FM radio aerial or indeed a DAB radio aerial, and then you have a single output then that goes through the center cable. So the idea is you have two inputs, combine them together and then you run them through a single cable and can distribute both signals together. And the reason that you can combine them is they're on different parts of the um, spectrum, so you can buy, combine them without any interference, okay? So what I'm just going to show you on my right hand side, your left, is just basically in this box here we have a DAB radio aerial and on top of it here we have a, tri a, tri uh, a typical omnidirectional FM aerial, okay? So it can be quite popular to do this. So I'm just going to give an idea of how it wired this. The first thing I'm going to note about this is at the back of it here, you can see it has a built-in tie wrap. And the idea here is that we could tie wrap this onto a pole. And the fact that it's a plastic cover on it means that it's waterproof. And if we look on the bottom here, we're actually going to run the cables in. Sort of a rubber bone here, so we can actually quite watertight this, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend this cable here is coming from an FM radio aerial. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push this cable through. I've pared it down already, so you can see we have the core wire here, the dielectric, the sheeting here, and we have a certain amount of braiding here, which we need left to actually just give us a good electrical connection. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push this through. Um, push it through, uh, and what we have here is we have the core wire gone through there, so we can use this flathead screwdriver here, and I can just lock this into position like this. And we could do the same here and lock this um, saddle here and pull it down and it'll actually lock, lock around the braiding. So we have the core wire to here and have with a solid connection and we have the braiding so that it's sort of the earthing wire here will have a solid connection here. So we would do the same on this side with a, the UHF aerial and then we'd have a single cable then that would run out. And traditionally um, a single cable then would be fed down with something like a coaxial plug like this. Um, or we could alternatively um, uh, feed it into um, a single faceplate. And I'm going to just demonstrate here a faceplate that's associated with product of this that we have available on the tvtrade.ie website. This is actually a triplex plate, but the bottom two that we need to focus on is the TV aerial and the FM. So if we had a single cable in the wall, uh, we had bad radio reception in this room, we want to run an external radio aerial in, uh, what we could do is we could split the single signal back out afterwards with one cable here running to our Serview box or our Serview TV and the other one running directly to our radio. Okay, This one here actually can handle satellite as well, so it's quite interesting from that perspective. Now is there any alternative products that will do the same job as this particular diplexer? Well, uh, if you look at our range of uh, uh, distribution amplifiers here, such as this one here, um, you can actually see there's twin inputs on this. For, this is for an example of a four-way distribution amplifier. And if we just look to the side here, we'll see there's actually twin inputs. One is a UHF aerial input, the other is a VHF input, but it equally covers DAB and FM as well. And what it means is you could actually feed two aerials directly into this and then distribute it to up to four different televisions afterwards, okay? So uh, if you're running into multiple rooms, this might be the way to go. But if you're just combining two aerials, um, I'd say a UHF and an FM to run into a single room, certainly something like this type actually will work well. It's low cost, it's simple traditional technology, um, but it, there's low loss levels on it, it works extremely well. So that's it anyway, an overview of the fringe diplexer for combining, uh, we'll say, FM and UHF signals into a single feed.